New York announced the opening of more COVID-19 testing sites on Friday. Hospitalizations there are down, but given as many as one of every four carriers don't show symptoms, medical experts say knowing who has had the disease is crucial to knowing who can safely go back to work. In order to tackle the spread of the outbreak, we also need to test for people who may have been exposed previously and now have antibodies. These types of tests, called serology tests, will be the next step in battling this virus. We have now completed more than 3.5 million tests, by far the most anywhere in the world. Despite the president's claims, the CDC has been slow to deliver on the administration's earlier promises of more test kits. And now he's telling state governors it's their responsibility. This Indiana lab responded to a plea for help from the city of New York and is ramping up production to provide 50,000 kits a week. We've been discussing everything from logistics of how to get our kits there to how many kits they would like to purchase on an ongoing basis and even more, more so into how can they do it themselves. In neighboring New Jersey, Rutgers University has gotten approval for a saliva test that could be scaled up quickly and mailed directly to people's homes. The United States is currently testing just under 150,000 people per day for the coronavirus, but experts say millions of tests per day will be needed to reopen the country safely. And New York's governor insists that can't be done without the help of the federal government, especially given some of the chemicals needed for the tests come from China. The federal government has passed three bills to address this crisis. Of those three bills, the state governments have gotten precisely zero, zilch, nada in unrestricted aid. But pressure to get people back to work is mounting, and the president tweeted that Cuomo should stop complaining and start acting. Cuomo calls the president's strategy passing the buck without passing the bucks. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.